Hello, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. My name is Firhat and I'm the PSLE Science Specialist here from the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of electricity. I've put this question in a handout and you can download a copy for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. Let's get started. The diagram below shows a circuit where identical bars of three different unknown materials X, Y and Z are connected to the circuit. Now, unknown materials means they can either be electrical conductors or electrical insulators. So when switches S1, 2 and 3 are closed like this, only bulb B1 lit up like this. So the pathway that I'm tracing now, is it an open or closed circuit? It must be a closed circuit that allow electricity to flow through bulb B1, causing it to light up. So what does it tell you about the material that's at position P1? Material X here. Did it allow electricity to flow through? Yes, it did. So that material X must be a conductor of electricity. I'm going to put it down. What about bulbs B2 and B3 that did not light up? Did electricity flow through these bulbs? No, it did not. So did materials Y and Z allow electricity to flow through them? No, it did not. So I'm going to put them in the possible insulators here. We have Y and Z. Since question A is asking for materials which are electrical conductors, many students, without even taking a look at the second table here, they are going to write the answer as only X. We are going to see why this is wrong in a while. Now, the second table shows the results when the three materials were rearranged into new positions. So we have to look at which bulbs did up again to confirm our conclusions from the first table. I'm going to erase my working here from the first table so that we can work on our second table. So again, when the three switches are closed, we have only bulbs B2 lighting up like this. So this pathway that I'm tracing here is the only closed circuit which allow electricity to flow through bulb B2, causing it to light up. Let's take a look at the material that's in position P2. We have material Z. But didn't we conclude that material Z was an electrical insulator just now? This is weird. So if bulb B2 lit up, did material Z allow electricity to flow through it? Yes. That means material Z cannot be an electrical insulator. It must be a conductor of electricity. So why didn't bulb B3 lead up just now when material Z was connected beside it in table number one? To solve this mystery, we need to take a look at the last row here, the one that I'm highlighting now. When we move material X into position P3 like this, Bulb B3 still did not light up. Remember, material X is a known conductor of electricity. So why didn't bulb B3 light up? The issue must be with the bulb. Bulb B3 must have fused, preventing it from lighting up. Mystery solved. So we have our two confirmed conductors of electricity as X and Z. What about material Y? Can we confirm that it's an electrical insulator? So even when Y was placed in position P1 like this, but B1 did not light up. Remember, but B1 was in working condition and lit up just now in table number one. So did material Y allow electricity to flow through? No, it did not. So we can confirm that Y is an electrical insulator which did not allow electricity to flow through. So now we can answer our question. For part A, we have two electrical conductors, X and Z. Now, the next two questions are on the next page. So let me shift the screen upwards. We want an example of material Y. Remember, material Y is an electrical insulator. So wood and plastics are common examples of electrical insulator. I'm going to write one of them down now. Question C. From the results, what can I infer about bulb B3? Bulb B3 was the one that has already fused, P1, 
preventing it from lighting up. Let's write that down. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos, click on the links on the right hand side. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!